Hey guys, what's up? How y'all doing? I'm here to talk to you guys about the new episode of One Piece, which is on episodes 1089 and 1090. Now, this episode right, these two episodes right here, now you guys might be wondering, why didn't you talk about 89 when you got home? 1089, that is. But, you know, like, um, I have my reasons, I'm a little lazy, and I wanted to watch two episodes on one day, you know? And I was a little late on that because, you know, I had dinner with a family member, obvious from the get-go. Well, not obvious, but, yeah. Anyways, um, let's just get this started. And 1089, we had to it, Luffy's crew talk about Luffy's dream, and they actually enjoy it and laugh about it. But they, some of them say it's pretty cool. Now, let's get to the scene where Sabo contacts Dragon and the revolutionaries from a different... From a different kingdom, which is Lulusia Kingdom, from Takamabaka Kingdom. Sabo explains about how, like, um, he was not the one who killed King Cobra, you know? Which apparently was obvious from the get-go that he wouldn't really do that at all. Even Luffy believes that. But he also was going to explain what he saw on that um, throne, on the location where he was he was at, you know? But whatever the case may be is, um, Sabo, on the other hand, before he could say anything, Lulusia Kingdom got struck down. And I mean struck down to the bottomless pits of the ocean. So, in other words, it got destroyed. The Gorosei and I guess the one ruler whatsoever ends up having to like, um, say, you know what, destroy that kingdom that Sabo was on. Because that's 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 their say to, and the kingdom was destroyed by a energy projectile looking like weapon whatsoever, and that kingdom is no more, like literally no more. And we don't know what happened to Sabo after that, but I'm pretty sure, like, um, depending on the situation, it's not very good. Now we get to the halfway point where the Straw Hats are actually struggling with the blizzard, with the blizzard, you know, and they end up. Finding a giant, like, um, water balloon looking like thing, and Zoro cuts it, and we see a child out there. Luffy tries to save, like, um, the child and Chopper, because Chopper was so small, he ends up flying up into the air by the wind. You get the idea. And they end up about to get attacked by a giant, like, um, freaking looky like shark whatsoever. And so forth. That's what episode 1089 is. Now, let's talk about the opening ending. Opening, you know, goofy and funny, which I thought it might be very fitting. And as for the ending, oh man, I love that ending. I know who, was, who sings that because that's the person that sung Memories of One Piece. You get the idea. You know who that person is. If you've been a One Piece fan from the very beginning up until right now, you will know who that person singing that ending song is, you know? So yeah. Anyways... 1089, Sabo tries to contact, contact Kamabaka Kingdom and explain his situation, but gets interrupted by a blast that destroys Lulusia Kingdom, which we don't know what's happened to them. As for the Straw Hats, they continue their journey, and they are in a blizzard storm, you know, etc. Now, we're going to episode 1090, you know? So, this episode right here involves, like, um, Jinbei having to try to, like, um, save Luffy, Chopper, and Bonnie because they're devil fruit users and they're drowning. Jinbei, on the other hand, counts on Frankie to rescue them, but they get, but sadly though, Frankie and the crew get interrupted and gets blasted badly by that mechanical robot, robot looking shark whatsoever, you know? And it gets much worse where, um, they get capsized whatsoever. Now, we get to a, we, we almost get way, almost get to the halfway point, or we did reach the halfway point, and we get to see Tashigi along with the children who were gigantified by Caesar the Clown, you know? You get the idea. These children from Punk Hazard. I'm pretty sure it's been, like, how many years has it been since we seen those kids? I'm pretty sure it must have been a very, very long time. That's for 100% sure. Now, um, they are being taken care of by Tashigi at a certain Marine headquarters. And we get to see one of the marine, marine, I think one of the vice admiral marines whatsoever talking to Tashigi about the situation, saying, "Hey, can you take care of Halempo? That brat is really being annoying." But we and we get to know that Halempo, along with like Hibari, Hibari are talking to, to the other members of the sword to help him out to go save Kobe. You know, because he's trapped on Pirate Island whatsoever, etc. However, the the prince of I think sword whatsoever, you get the idea. He pretty much tells him to like, 
hey, can you guys calm the hell down just a moment because you guys are not understanding the situation here. And I mean you're not understanding the situation. So pretty much like um, Halempo is asking Prince Gus, Rear Admiral of S.W.O.R.D. member, to help him out because they want to rescue Kobe. But Gus tells him, we can't do that right now because I can promise you this. We poked that beehive. We're, we're dead. 100 freaking percent dead. Kobe is there and we can't rush in there to be rush in there to rescue him like an idiot. Honestly, I can't blame him because it's like this. That pirate island that Kobe is on is occupied by Blackbeard. Yes, Blackbeard. If you guys remember correctly, Blackbeard occupies that island, pirate island. So at this point, rescuing Kobe is like a no-go. That is for sure certain to be said. Now, after that, we get to see a scene with Bonnie, you know, along with like Jimbe and Chopper talking with each other about the situation and that they're on Egghead Island. We get to see that like um, Bonnie says she has some like um, business with Vegapunk, you know, which apparently will be revealed later, you know, which I'm not going to say here, obviously from the get-go because it's anime only. So yeah, now let's get to the story. Part of when the Straw Hats got capsized. They got capsized, but they get rescued by a giant robot. We get to see that that Vegapunk shows up and comes out of the giant robot and says, Hey, what's up? I am Vegapunk, the greatest, the greatest genius level inventor, you know, that kind of thing. That kind of thing, you know? Yada, yada, yada. Whatever the situation is, like, um, all I know is, like, um, it's a woman. Yeah, a woman. The... Vega Punk genius scientist for the world government, you know? I'm like, what? Dr. Vega Punk, baby, is a girl, is a woman? Are you kidding me, man? I'd be nabbing nosebleeds right now. <laughs> okay, enough of me being cringe, which I'm always am, all, anyways. Yeah, um, that's pretty much it for 1090, 1, you know? Pretty much like um, 89 and 90 starts off Egghead Island, you know. I'm looking forward to see how this goes. I heard many people were complaining about the new animation and the fluidness of the of the drawings here and there. I thought it was pretty cool. I think it's natural to finally be in the goof, goofy mode for the time being because one, Luffy just unlocked his or awakened his devil fruit power so I guess it'll be fitting for now but you know like for what's to come I'm pretty sure Toei's gonna do their best to like make it satisfying however I'm gonna say this right now with the preview uh from what I hear from a friend you know of a preview of a new episode here and there um I fear we may be going a little fast than we than I expected I hope we could slow down a bit and have a lot of filler involved because the last thing I want is the anime to be on break and have some special episodes like it did before with Wano. Now, I understand we need those things or we don't need any of those things, but I got a feeling it's going to happen because, you know, let's be honest. I'm going to say it right now as a manga reader, we are actually on the same boat in the arc. So, it's going to be a little bit difficult from here on out and I'm pretty sure we're going to have breaks or special episodes happening in between with Egghead Island for us not to catch up. So yeah, so, <laughs> I hope anyone who who is a manga reader and an anime, anime watcher understands that. So until then people, I'll see you guys in the next video. So I'm off as it all. Have a good day and I'll see you guys next time. Alright, peace out. Bye bye. Toot toot.